The group in Ozaki County is finding many criminals locked up never even completed high school. It's a statistic they are hoping to change, something group leaders believe will benefit all of us. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne takes us to the classroom behind bars. One and one half times one fourth. From the outside looking in, you have to turn it into a mixed number. You might think these calculations, but you take the two and multiply it by the one, are the least of Prince Underwood's problems. Two and add it to the top number, which is one. Underwood is an inmate at the Ozaki County Jail. I've been here for three months. The result of poor decisions. Getting mixed in a bad crowd, you know, and then, you know, playing with, with firearms and, and, and bad things. Find your common denominator. But it's here. What would be the common denominator of four and five? Twenty. That Underwood has found a chance. Perfect. At a better life. In dealing with adults like Prince, you come to realize pretty quickly that you should not give up on people. Donna Gritzmacher is a retired math teacher. So you're going to multiply. Who voluntarily spends her day in jail teaching inmates. It's the most rewarding thing I've ever done. Gritzmacher is here with the Ozaki County Jail Literacy Program to help inmates get their high school diplomas. We want them to be as successful as possible for the amount of time that they're with us. The program and tests are tailored to each student. It is a surprise to see students come in here so ill-equipped, perhaps with a third grade reading or math level, or we've even had people who are barely literate. But teacher Patricia Puccinelli says, This is your main idea. They share common ground. We get students who um, are who want to be here, who are uh, better behaved, so um, it's not scary. It, it, it's not scary in here at all. The program is funded through donations. It started back in 1992 when the jail opened and was founded by retired teacher Nina Walker. People ask me, you know, what are you doing? This is a waste of time. It's not a waste of time. Walker says her program works because it helps inmates at the jail level before prison. If we can get people to change their decision making, get an education, get a job, and stick, don't come back here. We have saved the state a lot of money. She says taxpayers spend at minimum $25,000 a year to incarcerate one inmate. Explain in your own words. Graduates from Walker's program are less likely to return to jail. So you build your thesis. Walker says the recidivism rate is 44% compared to 70% nationwide. We're helping people change their lives. So it's like you're subtracting. That's also why Walker and her team are calling on state legislators to replicate. Put your parenthesis. Around there. And fund the program at every jail in the state. So where's our division? Right here. Right here. Maybe people who don't feel like they have such a bright future, they go to school and start doing good, then maybe they start looking at life a different way. The inmates are also changing perceptions. Underwood says if he had support at home from parents growing up, he may have finished high school the first time around and stayed out of trouble. If I could tell my younger self, I would have I would, I told my younger self to, you know, stay in school and you know, complete this to get farther. Have you done any of these? It's an equation one fourth. for a better life. Now you multiply. I had a student one time who learned how to do math, and she looked at me and said, I guess I really am smart. Mm -hmm. And I've never forgotten that comment from her. So you got three eighths. In Port Washington. I can't reduce the three eighths. Brett Lemoyne. Because the top number is lower. Fox 6 News. Than the bottom number. Incredible story. I love when the teacher says, once you talk to the inmates, you learn quickly. You should not give up on these people. It's a really a second chance for them. It's unbelievable. And sometimes all they're looking for is that second chance. Somebody, a complete stranger, just to give it to them so they can prove everyone else wrong. Right. You know? Good stuff. Good luck to all the people who are mm. turning their lives around. Yeah. Hey, a wild.